I have so many different ways of doing recordings every day that it's almost funny because you never know if I'm going to record at noon or morning or night or day or whichever it may be. I've been trying to figure out a way that this winter that I could come out here on the porch sill, maybe have my winter plants out. If I find some winter plants, <laughs> it's where I'm at, it doesn't matter if it's winter. But the point being is that, you know, I'd like to do some night ones where I can figure out how to get enough lighting that it would be not messed up by the camera and it doesn't seem to be a way. But in any way, however it happens, God always has a perfect timing for me and each day that seems to occur that no matter what I'm doing, whether I get stuck in one project and I'm kind of like extended out there, He always seems to bring me around to the time that I need to be finishing and completing the work that I know that I have to do each day and he seems to just roll it along in a simple trusting way for me that I'm able to accomplish even more <laughs> than I ever thought I would. I love it because I'm kind of a nut, you know, if you try to put me in a square box and a gypsy like I am, I'd probably come up with a 12-sided star to put in the middle of it and come up with the spaces in between being a place that you know could kind of duck over and hide and do whatever <laughs> or something i don't know that was supposed to be like a square peg in a round hole but somehow we wound up with uh, four squares and no holes round holes but god knows our personalities and he knows who we are so he has designed particularly in our lives those circumstances to place us and put us where he would have us best that fits our unique abilities and capabilities that he's placed within us so that we would get to know him better so that we could reveal through our lives those around us his word and his understanding of who we are so that we could share that god is love and he's loved us so that we could share that same love that we received to others Everything that we get from God is meant to go to others. It's not meant to be for you only, although it's nice to feel like you're, you know, Mr. Special. <laughs> Jesus is the one that we highlight. We don't highlight ourselves. Whatever he has given us is meant to go to someone else. Miracle of the Ages. Abide in me. The works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do, because I go unto my Father. Greater works, the blind received their sight, the lame walked, the lepers were cleansed, the poor had the gospel preached to them. And greater works than these shall you do, because I go unto my Father? Wonder of the world, miracle of the ages, God's power manifest in believing man. God's power going out to bless through the agency of man accentuated by the Holy Spirit. I should have said actuated. <laughs> Arise from the grave of sickness, poverty, doubt, despondency, and limitation. Arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. A wonderful future is before you, a future of unlimited power to bless others. Just be channels. Don't hinder the flow. Go with it. Be used. Ask. Ask. Ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you, and unto those for whom you pray. And if it so be that you choose to ask for others, then it should be that you know that you'll have what you request, because God delights to give good things to his children, and it would be wonderful if we would just recognize that often what we don't have, we don't need and shouldn't want. But when we want to bless someone else with the knowledge of God and allow them to discover for themselves who Jesus is and find out that there can be an exciting vibrancy to life that goes far beyond anything that they've ever understood, comprehended, or ever experimented with, whether in drugs or whether in, in sexuality, sensuality, emotional stimuli, physical intellect, mental assertions, or any other palpitation of what we create in humankind, then they would want that and desire it if we would just reveal that is what is exciting about being alive in God. Where did the Christian go that knew their God? That's the question. 
if we know our God, and if we're lifting up Jesus, that all men should be, be should be being drawn unto Him, shouldn't they? Where did the Christian go? 